Hello everyone. Today I want to take a brief moment and jump in here for a second. Uh, there's a lot of information, again, as usual, going around about narcissism and blocking people. Remember, part of the spiritual battle, the biggest thing is deception. And what we see happening, as I've mentioned elsewhere, is the flipping of the script where the narcissist are trying to paint the empaths as the bad guy. And this is just one of many ways they're doing it. Because they want to paint the picture that, because when we decide to block and go no contact, they're trying to say that that's because we're the narcissists. And that's not the case. We need to be mindful of that as well. Because a narcissist typically does not block for any long... They'll do it, and then they'll unblock. Then they'll block, then they'll unblock. And they do that because it's all part of the head games in the... the they've been taught by the system of narcissism. I had someone ask me a question. Where is the entitlement coming from in the system of narcissism or with narcissists? And again, it, it is because of being taught out there in that societal abuse cycle. That's where the narcissists learn their behaviors. That's where they learn all of these little head games. But they don't typically block permanently. That would be the difference. When we block and go no contact, it's permanent. Because we're not going to go down that road with that person again. It's not worth it. Because we already know going forward that there's going to be more of those fiery darts that we're going to have to thwart. That we don't need to be dealing with that one. But the narcissists, they don't block permanently. Keep that in mind. And this is really cool, though. A lot of people would say, that this is where the spiritual narcissists like to mess with people. When we do that, if we go no contact and block, they like to throw it in our face and they go, is that something Jesus would do? I've mentioned this elsewhere. That's a gaslight from a spiritual narcissist. They do all the same thing that a narcissist does. They just use scripture to do it. Trying to make you feel guilty if you do something that they have been programmed to think is unchristian or whatever. According to their perception. Because they live in that perception management reality. Which I elaborate more on in the upcoming book about those three realities. But they don't typically block. Because if they got an emotional reaction out of you at one time, they're going to keep coming back to try again at some point. It might be six years down the road if you let them. But that's, that's really the bottom line. The no contact rule. Well, the, the cool part about it is God has a no contact rule. Does anybody know that? Yeah. Proverbs 24. He tells us not to envy the evildoers, nor desire to be with them. Now, we may have to interact with them, but that's another reason why he gives us the armor. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. You want to take that in the right hand. And that is how you can thwart those fiery darts of the wicked. Because a thousand will fall by thy side. Ten thousand by thy right hand. But none shall come nigh thee. Let that sink in. Because it's true. Many of us that are in the warrior level, we know. We can tell. So if we get blocked or banned 
or whatever. Doesn't matter. That's usually a head game too. That's just somebody who's trying to get an emotional reaction out of you. Oh, they do it in all kinds of different ways. But just keep that in mind when you're seeing the information out there and, and how the, you know, because the narcissists are trying to paint the empath with the bad guy. That's the whole thing going on here. They want to keep everything twisted, backwards, upside down. Again, so nobody knows which way is up, which way is down. Can't tell the left hand from the right hand, like I've said before. Something very repeating. Because it is easy, too easy sometimes to get sucked in to all of that going on out there. So stay connected mind, body, and spirit. Always stay with the Godhead. Because I don't know about anyone else. But he tells me, and I know he tells others too, if he feels or senses that you might be falling off of that path, he'll tell you, he'll do something, he'll show you something, and he's telling you, stay with me, stay with me, hold steadfast. We should thank him for that. Because even we need reminders sometimes. But let's not be confused about the whole blocking thing in narcissism. It's there for a reason. And again, we do it permanently. They typically don't. Because mind games, there's a lot of them. And I think that's kind of part of one of them trying to get people confused so that they think anybody who blocks them is a narcissist and that's just simply not the case so until next time keep being you for more information about how narcissism is the work of the devil you can find the link to my book along with additional links to other places on my website and the link to the website is located in the video description and it's also located in the channel description. The link to my book can be found under published writings, which you can find by clicking on the hamburger menu at the top left. You can also sign up for a copy of my free monthly newsletter at the bottom of my webpage. Breaking the trauma bond with the world requires an understanding of how the trauma bond occurred. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and share with others who can benefit from the information. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, show a little gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you keep being you. In Jesus' name. Amen.